Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today's reading is going to be focused on what your person's current feelings are for you. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing time and space with me. I also want to give you a reminder, I do have a lot of services open. Um, Sunday readings, group guided meditation, community candle, and healings, and stuff like that. If you're interested, take a look and uh, only follow your heart. If your heart leads you there, then it's the time. All right. Um, let's get started. I will be joining Tarot today. Um, actually, an oracle. So let's take a look here. Um, Meditation Connie St. Germain, can you tell me what's currently happening in Sagittarius' connection with their person? What's happening here? Uh, we have a uh, completion. Mm, it's very interesting. It's funny because it actually feels like it's the completion of something starting, not something ending. And I know that's real crazy to say, but I want to say it that way. We also have service. And bottom deck's going to be released. I do feel right now you and this person are releasing a lot. I am being guided to remind you that both of these are actually in the sacral chakra. Um, it's interesting. It does feel like there's a lot of push, motivation, and inspiration to kind of remove the old, right, from your life so that you can actually start something here. It's really interesting because actually the message that was challenging from this person uh, was that they were focused on all the wrong things. And I've just seen one, one, one on the camera, and I really don't want to emphasize that. That is all about a new beginning. Um, and I feel you and this person are both releasing the old, right? While you're simultaneously preparing for the new. It does feel like it's together. But let's take a look here. Perception. Mm. Some of you, it could be together. Maybe friends, fam, like friends, stuff like that. I don't know. However you interpret, like what you would want the most from this connection is basically what you're going to have. It will evolve there with the butterfly. Um, so it's not going to start there, but that's actually a real good thing. It feels really uh, positive. Yeah, it, it really does feel it has that positive energy, but in a good way, it does feel like you've done the work. And at the bottom, we have impartiality. You know what's interesting? Um, a lot of times when we hold on to people, we hold on for the wrong reasons, right? We're holding on because they have lack in us or we're not loving ourselves enough or um, there's no one else, right? Yada, yada, we all been there. It feels like you both have hit a state where you, you know, I want them for them. And there's like, there's nothing really steering you there. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong, nothing negative really steering you there. It feels like you land on this person and you know they're the one. And I feel like it works both ways. It's real beautiful. I want to see what's behind this because it's too much. All right, discovery. Yeah, sorry, I want to make sure I really show that. Yeah, it really does feel like it's that. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look here. Manage from Kwani St. Germain. Can you tell me? Can I have some energies here? Um, what's what else should set the Sagittarius need to know about this right now? What else Sagittarius needs to know? I should really do that. Oh, we have the four swords. Um, mm -mm. No more holding back. I do feel there was a lot of that. In the past, I don't think you or them were ready. It feels like it was very mutual because I have a very mutual energy. So it definitely feels like both of you didn't feel ready for it, weren't ready for it, wanted it though, right? Uh, we have the Ten of Cups. Yep. And it's reversed. Um, what's interesting here as well is I feel like there could be um, another connection or maybe there's friends or family that are against this connection. Yeah, I see that being moved out the way quite quickly. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to hold anything back. But again, there is something that has completed in one, I feel like both of your lives that does help you move towards this new cycle. Um, I feel one of you is it's family, friends. It could be for both of you. It's hard to say. Uh, we have justice in this reverse. Um, yeah, I'm seeing for some use this marriage. Uh, we also have the Knight of Swords. And then the last one we have is the Hanged One in its reverse. Bottom's going to be the Ten of Wands in its reverse. So I feel with the Ten of Wands in its reverse, there is a little bit of baggage, but not too much. Um, I am seeing some... Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, complications, right? You know, it's, I don't feel it's going to be completely simple, um, but it doesn't feel like it's too much to bear. And in fact, I think both of you are in the head space, heart space, and hmm, I think your life is in the right place for this to really work and for you to have something here, something special and significant. Yeah, I had a feeling. Well, it's funny. Um, hmm. We have the Empress reversed. Uh, huh. I feel for some of you, um, with the Empress in its reverse, it feels like there's a block to creativity here. Um, I'm being reminded about the sacral chakra. I think your block to creativity is you may look at this person, um, a situation, and you may uh, be reminded of the old or maybe see a lot of um, hmm, some blocks here. Don't be afraid to push through those blocks. Um, don't be scared because last time it didn't work. And I feel like that could be something that, that impacts you here. It may actually... Um, 
it may actually change your perception, right? Where you once thought, like, how do I overcome this? You may actually want to give up. I think this is a very special connection that warrants a second chance. Um, if your heart's leading you there, that's actually what it feels like. Um, give it a chance, all right? So let's see. How does this person currently feel right now about Sagittarius? How does this person currently feel about Sagittarius, the people in Sagittarius's life? Let's see. We have the Four of Wands reverse. Interesting. Uh, we have the Queen. I don't know why I said it like that. A Queen of Cups reverse. This person's seen you grow. Um, you've done it by yourself, more or less, as well, with the Four of uh, Wands, it's reverse. You've done it kind of by yourself. It kind of feels like you are a little bit of unsung hero here, um, which is interesting. I feel like you have helped this person out a lot, whether you know it or not, but it's more than that. The Four of Wands reverse means you've done a lot of stuff without a lot of people knowing. Um, a lot of healing with the Queen of Cups is reverse. I am also seeing a lot of regulation here. What's interesting, as I feel this connection can help open up your heart more to allow that love to flow a little further, right? We have the eight of wands and it's reverse. Yeah, um, hmm. a lot of untapped energy that they really wish they tapped into. They really wish they had hmm, tried. Uh, it's a really good word, you know, the ace of wands. It's, I feel like that just speaks volumes for this energy um, because this person really wishes that they had gone further in this connection than they had, the seven of wands. So they know that they didn't fight for you the way that they wish they had. And it's something that they really do hold close to their chest. Uh, this is someone who really wishes they had, they had offered more. The king of cups here is actually um, their feelings. This is kind of a, it's kind of like what they think of you. <laughs> anyway, what's at the bottom? The wheel of fortune. In the past, it wasn't the right time. I actually feel that this person still thinks it is the wrong time because I'm seeing this energy of um of them of both of these coming to a conclusion that it's that you're ready. But sometimes, right, we can have those lingering feelings, especially to do with if we have past history with someone that make us feel like maybe we're not ready, or maybe they're not ready, or maybe the situation isn't ready. Follow your heart and not follow the logic here. Let's take a look at the outcome. We have the magician and it's reverse. And that's what I kind of felt here. Um, the outcome is you're gonna manifest something that's not meant to be because you're not following your heart. There is a need to follow that. I am also seeing following your inspiration. I was thinking about that earlier and I wanna really, really, really um, uh, just kind of get it. This is like a really strong inspiration. This person does find you very physically attractive, but it's more than that. You inspire this person. And then I feel like you have inspired them to heal as well. Let me take one more look. Yeah, never mind. It's the same. Um, yes, sorry. It, it's uh, this is someone who feels like they should have planted those seeds earlier. Or <sighs> it's funny. Um, it's almost like they feel like it's not the right time, not the right season. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's take a look here, Madison. What do you want to say about this person's uh, feelings? Ooh, sorry, it's not this one. It's this one right here. We have the magician. Mm -hmm. So whenever they feel like it's the right time, they're going to manifest this connection. But again, with the Seven of Pentacles, they don't feel like it is. I want to. I would pull a clarifier on it soon. It has nothing to do with just what I thought, the Eight of Cups. Uh, this person um, has to kind of walk away from an old way of being, old life. It does feel like with the Eight of Cups here, there's dissatisfaction in there, but there is enough, right? Um, with the Seven of Pentacles in verse, it's kind of that theme uh, that you hear a lot of uh, people end up getting stuck in a loop about, right? It's stuck in a cycle where they constantly feel like it's not the right time. We just have to push through that at times. You know, it's a block, it's a restriction. Um, sorry, I, I am just receiving a transmission for it to remove block and transmission. I wonder who gives it. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, I will. I will work on that one. It will be Kuan Yin and, and Ganesha. Kuan Yin leads. Will lead it. Um, this will be really helpful <laughs> for you. I would actually. I will try to do. It. I never do the transmissions there. Take so much energy out of me. But this person is definitely in that energy of not really feeling it's the right time, and that it's not going to change uh, unless this person pushes through. You know, it, it's it won't. And I can see that there's a lot of disempowerment here. I just wanted to clarify that the King of Wands in its reverse is very interesting. Um, this person feels like they don't have control in their life and control the situation. The Five of Swords here, I feel like they are going to walk away from something. It does cloud their judgment. When we're in the thick of things, right, when we're very close to something, we can't see it all. And that's actually this person's issue. Um, so what they're doing is I'm going to manifest, but when is the right time when I feel more balanced? But they're not going to feel balanced staying where they are. And that's actually the problem here. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel there's a lot of work going on. And... It's interesting. I don't normally go up because obviously, I, I again, I haven't drawn tarot in a while. And it's just these things are, uh, they always get reminded of me, but it's, this is actually past, 
present future. And this is, it's interesting, it's here. This person has actually been ready to move away from this for a long time that they haven't. So it's funny that that's coming through. Let's get a little bit of um, a last minute messages. Any other things you want to bring up um, for this reading? Any other things you want to bring up? Uh, I haven't used this deck in a while. I actually really like it. Uh, let's see. We have palm tree. We have stability and, and you know, stability and security. And we have it coming out with mass, not showing true feelings. I do feel that they present to someone who's actually very stable where they are. Um, it does feel like that's actually what they're holding on to let, rather than happiness and fulfillment. We also have the golden mirror, self-absorbed and narcissist. Um, I feel here as well um, that there is a limiting belief that's helped of course their happiness they are being selfish uh, that is actually one of the harder things i have struggled with myself uh when it comes to moving towards our the things that are for us um this person feels because of their responsibilities and i'm seeing family here or friends they feel like they have to stay and they feel like if they were to leave them it's selfish or they're being bad or something um or it's wrong, and it's not. This is someone whose heart's leading them in a different direction. We have healing from a heartbreak. It's interesting here. Um, I think they're worried about hurting people. Um, uh, that's what it feels like to me. And we have hand of cards reverse. They don't really want to show their cards or show their feelings yet to the people that they have, to, people, places, and things they have to walk away from. But that will change, I suppose. It's hard to say. Let me see. Lightning. Yeah, sudden change. It's funny. I just want to like, I, I just want to really channel that for all of you. It just, I really want to emphasize that one because it feels like it's just going to hit them really quickly. Um, a lot of times people don't move though, right? Let's get some uh, guidance for you. So what is your guidance, Minotron, for Sagittarius and situation? Ooh. We have uh, eternal union. Interesting. This is union with self though. Um, I feel like you need to actually learn to um, um, be more complete with the self, more self love, but it doesn't feel like that. I feel like there are parts of you that you may not be honoring. Give that a go, right? We have a lie in your universe, navigate distractions. I feel here as well, you're being guided to kind of take control of your thoughts and make sure that you're not mm, making sure that your thoughts are working with you rather than working against you. We have guardian, guard your energy. Um, mm, it is an odd message, but to say, but I feel, hmm. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm gonna be just real honest with you here. It feels like it's, it's to guard your energy towards this person right now. Um, they may be using your energy as a way to hmm, determine what they should do, and they should be using their own inner inner wisdom, heart, um, intuition. Instead, we have create harmony. And again, this is about healing within the self. I feel like there is a healing issue. Maybe your masculine, feminine energies. Um, I remember when I did that already. It was actually quite beautiful to merge those energies. Um, I do recommend a Merkaba for that one. It did help. We have Between Worlds, New Directions. I feel whether this person comes back around or not, you should be heading a new direction anyway. And let, let I, it's not letting the universe decide, but let whatever is uh, for the highest good of all determine how this plays out. Because right now I see you both ready no one's moving and kind of move forward and see where that leads you. Uh, we have ground your light as well. I am seeing a need for you to shine your light more on this world and channel your energy more into this world to really make a difference. And it's going to be a big deal. All right. Huh? I think, I think that's it. I kind of want to draw one of these. I really do love this deck. Um, any last guidance that you have, please, for, uh, we got it. It's funny. We have confusion. No, oh, there's too many here. We have confusion. Okay. Prayer and balance. That's interesting. Um, your guidance right now um, is for you to kind of uh, move forward. You may be confused about this person's situation. Um, you won't find clarity where you are. You'll find clarity ahead, right? Um, and that's where you're being asked to move as well. I do want to look at this, and I just want to emphasize this. This is interesting. Um, this prayer has two different things in it. I feel like you really need to ask yourself, what do you want? <laughs> um, and find balance there. Let me see. Don't let other people's opinion impact how you feel and where you go. All right? So I'm going to leave it there. Sagittarius, I thank you so much. Please don't forget to like and comment and check out my services and take care. Bye.